Hi there everyone, this is Farmer Bob, welcome to my channel. Um, thank you so much for joining in. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing. It's always nice to have new subscribers and uh, new people checking my content. I really appreciate that. <laughs> if you like the video, do, do give it a like please. And uh, yes, uh, once again, a warm welcome. Um, this is a version 3 of um, Garib South Africa, which is my latest map. Um, I've just added uh, seasons to it and also a lot of cosmetic changes. So I'm just going to quickly do an update on that and um, just show you guys what I've done in the meantime, you know, since version 2. Great, so here's our seasons. Um, I've loaded this um, I would say uh, this map or this version on uh, seasons to just gonna quickly enable our fly mode and then we can actually just jump up and have a look around. Yes, you'll see uh, all the seasons textures are working very nicely and all the leaves is gone except for the, the um, trees that is obviously not, um, uh, um, what do you call it, they're not seasons affected you know like perennial trees not really sure what the English is for that <laughs> um, but anyways so the trees that can lose leaves they are losing their leaves and they're going brown like they should and also the bushes and the shrubs and that all of those working very nicely great guys so that is the seasons version of it um, just want to show you what it looks like in in winter when the map is fully snowed in and obviously all our little um, points of interest are not snowed in so you can still have um, access and know where they are you know <laughs> so I'll, I've just put the mask over uh, so that it can um, it's the first time I actually see these lights they've got on the snow they make quite a quite a nice glow you know <laughs> it looks quite cool great man um, it's going to go night just now so I think what I'm going to do is um, just go into the normal map. So I'll be back in a sec. Right, guys, this is now our standard map loaded. Um, I did check the whole um, log is clean, so we don't have any errors on it. Everything is working as it should. And um, this is now the normal game without seasons. All right, first things first, let's just get our flight mode running. So we can fly around and show you what, what uh, all nice new things I've made just for you guys to have fun. <laughs> okay, excellent. On the map itself, I haven't changed anything on the map itself. So everything is still where it is um, strategically. But what I've done is you'll notice I've put in some nice fencing, make it look really nice. That's on this side and then on this side as well. Um, I've fenced in um, the chickens, uh, the, um, the piggies, put a nice fence around them, nice one around this tree. I've modified some of the trees as well, so they um, they look a bit different from one another, you know, so they don't all look the same, which is a huge thing. And then I've built my own custom uh, water tower, this one here, built a nice water tank. and. Uh, that is connected to the um, to the wind pump. So yeah, now you can bring your vehicles fill up with water here. It saves you from um, going to the river and um, getting water from the river. So yeah, it's all just easy, easy as pie. Can't remember if this is in version um, two, but yeah, I think it is in version two. But this is also just a place where you can drive in nicely with one of your uh, tankers to get water. But you can get water from anywhere in the map. Wherever there's water on the river or on the dam, you can extract water there. And then on this side, coming in, let's move here. Built a nice fence. I think it really looks very, very nice. Came out nice. And then also added another water station here. You also see I've put it some put some water puddles and all kinds of things just to make it nicely and and some slicks put in uh, some um, puddles and slicks on the ground just to make it more realistic you know have a <laughs> have a feel of of farm life <laughs> I would say great man so that is um, the changes that I've built in here on this side of the map let's quickly run over to the shop there's also a lot of stuff I've made done here 
put in some nice gates, uh, new signs up there, and um, signs up there at the barn, um, and the and the, uh, the cotton and the wool and all those things. Uh, let me just have a look. Oh yeah, I fixed. Mind you, I've, I've done that already in version two. Fixed that few tractors that, that was up in the air. Um, I think that three Deutzes there was up in the air a little bit. So yeah, it was annoying. Put the fence around our um, fuel station. Um, yeah, the other mods, other additions on that fuel station was already there in version two. Great man. And then let's go down here to the BKB. Uh, visit there. The trusted home of ag agriculture. Now, BKB in South Africa is our um, co-op. That is where your farmers um, get all their stuff and buy their things from, and they they actually all it's a cooperation, you know. Anyway, so yeah, I'll put a fence here, some gates, and also some nice signage just to make it more appealing. And that is what we've done on this side. And then lastly, let's just visit our southern mills. Done the same here. Put in entrances, road access here, uh, some gates, some nice signage for southern mills. I think it came out quite nice. Um, add there, another sign there, another one there. Also put a gate and this nice old um, stone wall all around the perimeter, you know. So when you come in with your big vehicles for offloading, you can drive over, offload, and then zoop, zip your way out here, out back to the farm. Um, you know, I'll just make it nice and easy. And I've done the same circle route type of um, style there at the BKB, you know, just to um, make it easier. Because otherwise, if you come in with a long vehicle with two trailers or three trailers or whatever, you're going to have problems turning around and all that. And this, yeah, it's a custom built. Um, I've just enlarged the standard, uh, what do you call it, the standard silo at the farm, and um, put a few multiples of those to um, simulate this huge storage that you get in. Uh, I'm sure in on all countries you get those big silos where they where they actually store the the grains and stuff. Anyway, great guys. So yeah, that's a quick uh, rundown of uh, changes that I've made to uh, to the map for now and um, there is some more tweaks that I want to do but as time progresses we'll probably get around to that and in the meantime guys I hope you enjoy the map and farm like crazy because this is a huge map and I mean that, that big field 190 hectares uh, uh, field uh, what is that field 18 <laughs> that is and 21 it's 170 hectares that is going to keep you busy for a long time to plant and to sow <laughs> so have fun guys uh, thank you so much for watching this is farmer bob and until we see you again cheers